Hi everyone, welcome to RPA Learners and in this video we are going to see what are timer activities in UI part and what are the use cases or the instances where you will use uh, timer activities and these are mainly useful um, when you want to know the execution time between two sequences or a set of activities and this will be very useful when you are drafting SDD or the technical design document where you want to mention how much execution time your process is taking or how much time it is taking for each sequence or set of workflows or set of activities right and those are the those are when you want to know the execution time of an API response or where uh, you want to wait dynamically and see how much time it is on how much time it is responding or get an average um, these timer activities are certainly useful and these are new activities that are in UI path right now which are not there before uh, we used to have uh, we used to keep a date time uh, variable to know and then the difference between two different date time variables in order to know the time of uh, time that is taking for the set of activities to execute so but now we have these timer activities so let's go ahead and look uh, what are these activities and how to use them and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please go ahead and subscribe and uh, because the new videos that are coming out and let's go ahead and see and this is a new workflow and uh, let's go ahead and see in the activities panel uh, when you go to activities panel right here in the available section if you go to system and here you can find activities set which is timer if you click on that these are the different uh, timer activities that we have in that we have a start timer stop timer resume timer and reset timer usually start timer is to start the timer and the stop timer is to stop the timer and the resume timer and the reset is it is to reset it and resume timer is to just resume it so i already have a sequence that is ready so let's go ahead and see how to use these activities and which is already there so in the start timer activity you will provide the timer um, variable or you will create a variable which is a variable type of timer and if you see here timer time data which is a time timer variable type so you will create that which will uh, initiate uh, the timer variable and we are writing what is the value that is present in that variable in order to get the value from that particular variable type if you simply mention time data dot to string it won't print the uh, difference between uh, the seconds or the milliseconds that is done if you want um, it in milliseconds you need to mention like this elapsed milliseconds or if you want uh, in the time span uh, time data dot elapsed and let's let me show you both so let's go ahead here in the advanced editor and let me remove this for this one so that you can see the difference and this is the start if you want to start the timer you need to start it like this and uh, when you are done with a certain activities and you want to start a new set of activities where you want to set the timer to zero then you need to use the reset timer and provide the same time object that timer object that we created here and provide that as an input to reset timer it will reset this timer to zero and this is the same uh, code that we are printing what is the value after resetting the timer after resetting the timer the value should be the value will be zero and you need to resume it in order to calculate the time uh, for the other set of sequences if you don't resume it it will be zero till the end so you need to resume it after you reset the timer so for the resume we, it's same you need to pass the input time data and we are printing what is the time that is uh, till here what is the time that it taken in milliseconds then we are stopping the timer here after the stopping we are 
again taking the value of what is there in the time data this stops time timer and then let's go ahead and execute this and see um, what it is giving us the output and these timer activities are going certainly going to be useful for whoever wants to get the execution time of the workflows or the set of activities all the other things now it is done let's go ahead and see the output and if you see here first is in the time span and it's after starting the timer this is the time it took for uh, the workflow to get from the start timer to the right line here after that when we reset it it will be zero after resetting it till the resume timer it took 34 milliseconds where it took 31 milliseconds for for this one after starting and getting the right line after 34 it took another 30 milliseconds to go to the stop time so this is how you use timer activities and to get the difference or this execution time of set of sequences and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching